talk about worksheet six all about spheres. Now uh, this formula uh, is not a trivial one to come up with. Uh, there are some geometric um, explanations to this that we can look at. Um, there is a calculus approach to find this that's pretty simple. I'd be no calculus. <laughs> but um, the volume of this guy is four thirds, oh we're scared already, pi r cubed. Now that cubed is just different and we, we just always are doing something r squared and just remember it's cubed because we're in the third dimension that's going to operate that way and nobody likes the four third but the truth is is that is what it is all right so if you're calculating something like this one it would go four thirds pi r cubed and the only variable in the whole thing is r so it's just a matter of finding r and then it's a done deal nine cubed uh, times four divided by three is 972 pi centimeters cubed um, okay uh, the other thing just to note again is how this is numbered here this is obviously a radius if uh, again just to remind you about this kind of stuff if they had it uh, without a center point there and they just said that was nine that would actually then be the diameter you'd have to cut that in half if they put a point there and put the nine over the center that is still referring to the diameter and then again like the original diagram if the nine is distinctly to a side with a point we're looking at a radius now here this is called a hemisphere because it's half of the sphere the northern and southern hemispheres of our uh, earth and so what we do here is we do four thirds pi r cubed but we only want half of that so we divide by by two and the four becomes a two because four divided by two is two so really two-thirds pi r cubed is the result of this and so we do two-thirds pi r cubed we go six to the third power uh, we multiply by two we divide by three we get 144 pi centimeters cubed. And again, you might say, where did this come from? Another way to do it is just calculate the full sphere, get that answer, just divide that by two if that scares you to think of the two-thirds instead of the four-thirds. And the last one is one of my favorites, the old tennis ball in the can idea that the ball fits exactly so it touches the sides exactly, it touches the top exactly. Why I like this one is you don't have to give very many measurements to obtain the volume of the air in the can, let's say. So what I like is it's, it's a little bit of review. It's, it's a cylinder, which is pi r squared. Now, h might feel a little tricky, but that, that would be the same 3 here as here because, again, that fits the can perfectly. So in this case, the height is 6, so that would be the height, uh, or that would be the volume of the can, which comes out to, what, uh, 9 times 6, 54, 54 pi. Now, we want to find the volume of the air, though, so we need uh, the volume of the ball, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And so again, we get uh, 27 times 4 divided by 3, I get 36 pi. And so if we take 54 minus 36, what do we get? We get 14 pi centimeters cubed is the air. Because I take the full guy, subtract the sphere, what's left is air. Anyways, hopefully that helps.